So we saw how relative positioning works and we also saw that we can move our element out of the parent. Now to avoid this behavior, we can simply go to our parent element with the class parent right here and now add overflow hidden because this will exactly do what the property already indicates. It will hide the element once it's outside of our parent like this, as you can see it. If we would reduce the top distance now, maybe to, I'm not sure, this is like trial and error, maybe 180, something like that. Let's see. Yeah, we can see it already. As soon as the element moves out of the parent element, it's invisible. This can be a behavior you want or not, but at least it allows you to make sure that you don't place elements anywhere on your website. Now, there is one problem though. I mentioned that in the last video. If I remove the overflow hidden property right here and also remove position relative and actually all the code we have for our child, like that. Let's now say that our parent is now the relatively positioned element like that and also push down from the top by maybe 200 pixels. What happens now is that if I reload the page, you could guess that, is that the element is now outside of the parent. So the parent of our parent right here is the body element. We can see this right here. We have the div class parent inside the body. So body is the parent. And now you could say, well, I can solve this easily. The only thing I have to do is I have to go to the body selector right here and add overflow hidden like that. Let's see if this works. As you can imagine by my voice, it probably won't work because if I unselect the inspect tool and reload the page, you can see I can reload it as often as I want. Nothing changes. Why is this happening? Well, this is due to a default behavior of CSS. If you apply the overflow hidden declaration to the body element, this will simply be passed on to the HTML element right here. So in our case, to the HTML selector. And the consequence of that is, well, you don't have the overflow hidden declaration on your body element. So the code you basically have is this one. You can cut this out, add it right here, save the file. So you have overflow hidden on the HTML element, but not on the body element. And if we have a look at our page now, this is the consequence you don't have any impact of this declaration at all. This is just a default behavior of CSS, as I said, so we cannot change that, unfortunately. What we can do, though, is we can simply take the chance and also add overflow hidden to our body element right here. If we do that and we load the page, we can see that the overflow property is working again because right now the overflow hidden declaration is not passed on to the HTML element because it already has such a declaration. Why would it need it twice? Doesn't make sense. And because of that, this is working. It would also work if you add overflow auto by the way here. As you can see, same behavior. The element cannot be displayed outside the parent, which is the body element in our case. This is just some quick tip that I wanted to show you in case you have a situation like that. If your parent is not the body element, this is not a problem at all. But if this is the case, then you can solve this issue with this little fix right here. With that, we now understood the relative positioning. So there is only one value left that we should have a look at. Sticky positioning. Let's see how this works in the next video.